you're coming out on top again. You're doing really well this season, aren't you? Yeah, I think, you know, all credit to the, the lads out there. They've um, worked incredibly hard this year. Yeah. And compared to where we kind of were towards the, the front end of the season, October, you know, we were probably languishing in 14th, 15th place and a long way off where we wanted to be. Yeah. And then, um, you know, the lads have really turned it around and, and pushed ourselves up to the playoffs. So seem to just keep fighting all the while. Yeah, we've got a great group, you know, we've got a bunch of players that really enjoy being around the football club and, and they really work hard for each other, that's, you know, and that's all testament to them really, they've they've got themselves to where they are today and, and continue to work incredibly hard on days like today, even when, you know, results wise, it, the game didn't really have that kind of edge to it because it didn't matter as such, right, but right. it's important to them that they work hard for each other and win games. You and the team are now in the position of fighting a big battle to get see if you can get up another rung of the ladder, aren't you? Yeah, of course, yeah. You know, we've made the playoffs. Huge game on Tuesday night against Canvey Island. Then hopefully we look forward to a final on Friday against, you know, either Slow Market or, or Brentwood, whoever sort of comes out on top on their, in their um, playoff on, on Tuesday. So, you know, two big games ahead of us and... You know, we're really looking forward to it. We're just going to take each game that comes. We're certainly the underdogs going into it. There's a reason why we've kind of, you know, finished behind them in the league at the end of the day. So we'll certainly go into it as underdogs. But when this group have been faced with like adversity and things like that, they've always dug in and come out on top. And I hope that's what we can do in the week. Final question. As manager, you're the guy who carries the can ultimately for, for problems and stuff. How do you look back on this season? Um, I'm immensely proud of the group, first and foremost. I think, um, as I touched on earlier, we, we had a poor start to the year. Um, we had a lot of injuries, but I don't want to don't dwell on those. I don't want to use them as an excuse because we weren't good enough early on because even with those injuries, the players we had were good enough to get better results than we did. But then second half of the season, we've really, we really turned the corner and started to believe in ourselves and, and came together as a group, which, um, you know, as you can see by our results, second half of the year, we've been, been really good and probably... You know, if, if you was to split the season into two half, which I know is a, is a silly thing to say, but um, I, th I think we'd be top. You know, in, in that second half. So hopefully we can keep that momentum going into the mid into the midweek games. And the way into next season. Yeah, exactly that. Thank you so much, Stuart. Thank you, mate. Thanks a lot.